is a proper feeder. Yeah, baby. Got you ever brother. seen this stuff? You you wear your brother's bond underwear? Um, the, the G-string. Okay, That's perfect. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. more like a band-aid. Yeah, the, it, the BB. You ever heard of this vodka? It's amazing. Uh, is that uh, <laughs> Jason Momoa's vodka? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Guys, what's going on, Belgium? <laughs> Damn, it's good to be back here. <laughs> I'm having Dave yeah, Mike Did uh, we do this yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, except, you know... Here we go. So let's get things started. Is that okay, Ian? Is that okay, Paul? Shall we start with the first question? No. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, yes. By the way, listen. This is about you. Um, this is about you asking questions. Paul and I can talk shit. We can just say the dumbest stuff for hours. This is about you. So... Let's get things Hello. started, then. We start with your question. Are you Beetlejuice? <laughs> That's a great suit. It's one of the best movies ever made. Thank you so much. Um, I am Paul, thank you for being here. Um, I'm a bit scared my question is going to be stupid or silly, but... There's no stupid question. Um, unless Ian asks it. <laughs> or unless it's about Paul. Uh, no, it's about Raymond. Um, Already not starting well. Go for it, so. No, but since um, I do not hear very well, so my question is really... Visually, uh, in Vampire Diaries, when Damon wants to, you know, seduce a woman, he uses best dance moves. Could you maybe show to all of us the best dance moves? Paul, Paul feel free to join in. She said Damon's best Damon, dance. So, good, good. so the thing about Damon is, is that he was never really trying. Um, when he was dancing, people always say, what's my favorite episode? My favorite episode was episode five of season one. And that was when Damon was dancing with Vicky. It's the Salvatore Mansion, we were destroying uh, Stefan's room. It was season six. And then Damon like jumped up on this thing and he does something like this, he goes like, That, like I, I remember it about 15 years ago, but I, I'm not that good at it anymore. But damn, it was fun. You know, that's back when we were young and we had abs and muscles. By the way, Bro, Paul, I can't even, my... Paul used to have abdominal muscles. Remember Paul Summers? He finished shooting a scene. He goes, "Damn, Paul, you have abdominal cleavage." That's the you know kind of abdominals that Paul Wesson had. Not anymore. Well, like, they're, they're hidden. They're hidden. They're, they're, still, they're still there. It's muscle. It's like, a, it's like relaxed table muscle. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you. Let's hey, move to the you. next thank question. Thank you so much. Or not. Have, has anyone tried this? Hey, by the way, Belgium. I see a, I see a, I see a bottle right there. It's available online. You can buy Brothers Bond Bourbon in Belgium now. <laughs> Go to brothersbondbourbon.com. You can order bottles. Say shop EU. Boom. Ship it to Belgium. It's so delicious. Let's go, baby. You want a little sip, man? Um, yeah, I will. <laughs> so. You have a question? <laughs> Let's go. Hello. Um, my name is Celine. I'm a little nervous. I hope you're doing well, having a wonderful time. Um, my question is for Ian and Paul. I would like to know what your best, some of your best memories are from the Vampire Diaries. Definitely not this one. <laughs> we got a lot of memories, bro. Yeah, bro. Think about this, guys. We had a... Oh, hey, everyone. We had 172 episodes. 172. So, I mean, it's like millions of memories. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I was a little late. Sorry. And if you had to choose one? So, when, when we, the first day of shooting, Paul Wesley was not uh, on set yet. And he was driving to set. And I went into his trailer 
And I, I got uh, saran wrap. You know the clear plastic wrap? Uh, you wrap like food and stuff in? I got it from the craft service truck. And I went into his trailer and I put it on his toilet. But like perfect, right? There's no edges, but it was perfectly sunken in enough, right? Where when he sat down, he was gonna get a surprise. <laughs> then I thought, shit, man. This guy and I are gonna be together like every day for five years. Do I really wanna start this relationship off? So I went in and pulled it. Oh, the other thing I did was, it's summertime in Georgia, it was really hot. I turned the heater on in his trailer. But then I thought, shit, man, I, sh I shouldn't do this. And I turned it off, pulled the saran wrap off, and then you pulled up the set. And I never knew. I never did. I never knew. I, um... But if after your first coffee and you're like, oh, I gotta go back to my trailer, when you sat down, bro, you would have gotten a surprise. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Um, coulda, shoulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Um, What's your favorite? Well, I don't know. I don't really have a, I, I don't have any specific, but I do remember when the, we got cast in the show, we, we, we drove, we flew to Atlanta together, we rented a car together, we dressed the same, and we were oh, looking, yeah. and we stayed in the hotel together, everyone thought we were in the same room. Yeah. We looked the same. Yeah. We had the same, we had diesel jeans on, we had a white t-shirt, we had Ray-Ban sunglasses, and we walked into the W Hotel, and we looked like the Blue Brothers. And we were staying in the same hotel room. Damon and Stefan had slept together. And we made love. Um, <laughs> only once, bro. Try everything once. Yeah, we have, we have some amazing memories. And by the way, I hope you have amazing memories, not just of the show, but of being here with everyone else. Like, think about this. You're in a room of 2,000 people, and everyone is happy. Remember that, because out there, it's, it's not the same. So take this energy and bring that out there. Does that make sense? It's important. Thank you. Let's move to the next question on this side of the room, please. Hello. Hello. My name is Fernanda, and I would like to know what you guys have learned from each other over all these years working together. Oh, are you from Brazil? I am from Brazil. <laughs> I can tell. I'm Fernanda. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what have we learned? I've learned from, from working with each other. Oh, jeez. Uh, learned a lot of shit. Well, actually. I don't learn, I didn't learn my lesson because then we started a company together. I was going to say, you know, working with Ian for eight years is enough, but uh, clearly I can't get enough of it. I just got to keep working with him, so. 15 years. This now we got this. Guy and I have been together. 15 years. What the hell was I thinking? No, I think. No, uh, we learned a lot together. We also, not necessarily we learned from, honestly, from each other, we learned together. Yeah, but I think more so, like, I think, like, people underestimate how much hard work is put into a television series. So I think you learn a lot of, like, work ethic. You're working 16-hour days. You're barely sleeping. You're working in the middle of the night. And you're, we did it for eight years straight, you know? So that's why we started this company. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you know. God damn it. Thank good. you for your question. Obrigado. 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 Let's move to this side of the room. Closer to the mic, please. Today is my birthday, so I was wondering what Damon and Stefan would have enjoyed as birthday gifts. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Um, you know, Damon just would have like killed a bunch of people. I would have done, I'd like some vervain so I could put it in his bourbon. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, yeah, man. It's full of vervain. Is that why I'm... Yeah. That's why you want to bomb on a bomb. Um... By yeah. the way, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. You know what's crazy? You Spending know, your these, birthday with us. I know. What a waste. Best birthday ever, really. You know, these guys, it's so crazy, man. Like, I remember we were shooting the scene uh, where Stefan where Stephen actually turns Damon into a vampire. 
It was actually quite an emotional day. Remember when you were outside with that? Rock I love the 1860s. All that yeah. stuff was really our favorite because it wasn't. They were like they, the guys weren't trying to kill each other. They were. They were like they loved each other. They were brothers. But I remember shooting that scene where, and it was quite emotional, where Steph, or Damon turned Stefan into a vampire. And that whole, the whole idea that like, he was sitting there realizing his life has changed forever. And it's funny, man, not to sound like too cerebral about it, but like, there are these little moments that we have in our lives where we realize, this is going to change my life forever. Whether it's a big like, family event or a life event, and whether they're good or they're bad, the more you can embrace them, the better off you are, the more you grow. And this fucker right here and I have experienced a lot together, and the stuff that some, sometimes break, kick, kicks you down or lifts you up, but if you can sort of embrace them all in the same way, you really, really, really grow from every experience. And some people are like, oh, you know, because we're so like used to scrolling on our phones or so like we're so into like this technology. But when we stop and we look up and we connect with other humans, we realize how much we learn on a daily basis from each other. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> My point is, is that I highly encourage what you. What was your question? <laughs> Something about birthdays. Huh? I highly encourage you to sort of. Sometimes put the technology down and just connect with one another. That's, I think, like, that's the goal. But also yeah. check out his TikTok. Um, <laughs> all right. Hi. Let's move Thank to the next you. question. Yes. You're an asshole. And happy birthday. Uh, hi. Hello. Uh, my question is, in which show would you guys want to play besides the one you have played in before? None. <laughs> and what show would we want to play in? I would love to be in, I don't know if you guys watch it here in Belgium, but I love a show called Curb Your Enthusiasm. And I would have lo I'd love to do an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm. It's over now, but I would have loved to have done that. And also, I'd love to be a voice on The Simpsons. <laughs> Wouldn't that just be amazing? Don't! By the way, you know Marge, Marge Simpson lives... Oh, we, our buildings. I, Ian and I have an office. We share an office together, and uh, March Simpson lives underneath us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. By the way, literally, literally. Does she, literally does literally she have the same voice? When yes, she her? sounds exactly like that. She lives underneath us. It's the weirdest thing. She's like, she's like I blah. <laughs> it's the best. It's the best. Oh, oh. How are you, Ian? <laughs> oh, Homer. A show that you might want to be on? Um, you know, oh, Anthony Bourdain, you know, it's so crazy, um, I love, I love cooking, I love culture, I love, uh, travel, the travel, I'm going to do 110 flights this year, uh, but I did love Anthony Bourdain, you know, he had actually an amazing quote, and, and it's not like, uh, my body is my temple. <laughs> this quote, obviously he killed himself, so he had, had some, some issues with himself. He said, my body's not my temple. It's a roller coaster car. Enjoy the fucking ride. And there's a little bit of truth in that. Like, actually enjoy the ride, you know? Um, but I love Damon. I, you know what, one of the show I love, one of the best shows I think I've ever seen is The Nick. Oh, I love the that Nick. series. The Nick. Live on. If you haven't seen The Nick, uh, it was Steven Soderbergh. He like shot and edited almost everything. Um, it's about turn of the century medicine in New York City. Holy shit, it's unbelievable. I would have loved to have told that story. Um, I probably wouldn't have been as good, but I would have loved to have told that story. Why? What TV show would you want to be in? Uh, in the Vampire Diaries. Uh, <laughs> of course. Nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. Up to you. We are so happy to be here, Belgium. Thank you. Um, hello. First of all, nice to meet you both. Um, my name is Shoni. So, as, as you may know, life can be tricky sometimes. Um, could you give me or us one life lesson? Oh man, Ian just gave like 47 yeah, life lessons. <laughs> 
by the way, another one. So by the way, she is a teacher, and she teaches young kids with autism. Okay. So she's not only an educator; she's a special ed educator, uh, which requires a tremendous amount of patience and skill sets. But we appreciate you Thank for you being so that educator. I need a lot of patience and skill set to deal with him. And vice versa. Life lessons. Um, I'll tell you, I'll have a life lesson for you, okay? Thanks. I really do. Um, time flies. Enjoy what you have and stay in the moment. I know it sounds so stupid and simple, but it's really true. If you can stay present, enjoy what you have, you don't look back 10 years from now and say, oh, I wish I would have enjoyed that time, you know? Because I look back on a lot of my time when I spent my late 20s, early 30s working really hard. The whole time of the Vampire Diaries, I didn't, I didn't enjoy it as much. And uh, now I'm like really enjoying my life a lot more, and I'm grateful for that lesson that I learned. Okay, I'm gonna try that. You know, it's wild, man. Here, hold on. God, it's so good, man. That's it. So, a lot of people have this tattoo. Let me get that in there. It says, Eek et Nuk, which is here and now. I typically don't agree with Paul, but in this moment I do. And people always say, what does this tattoo mean? Eek et Nuk in Latin means here and now. The idea is, is that it's so funny as human beings. We live in the past, which is done, or we live in the future, which actually may never happen. So we forget to live in the present. And we forget to live in, well, when we forget to live in the present, we forget what it is to live, to be in life, right? So that moment, like Paul was talking about, in the present, so valuable. And I don't mean, you know, being in a concert and videoing everything or videoing something for TikTok or Instagram Live. I mean really being in the moment. And I encourage you all. Oh my God, there's a screen face back there. <laughs> Kevin Williamson is haunting us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's true, man. Be in that moment. And I'm telling you, your life will be so much fuller. I've uh, been to Kevin Williamson's house a few times, and he has the original screen mask in like a really cool, like uh, you know, like like glass box, like you know, like it has to like present it. It's so creepy and awesome. So I love it. I love it. Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> okay, let's move. Hey, thank you for the, for the for the question, Miss Miss Shoni. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello. Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> Hello. Hi, darling. So I'm not here actually to ask a question, but I have this tarot deck, if you know what is it. And what is it? Tarot, you know what tarot is? Oh, cards. Tarot cards, yeah. Yeah, you're tarot. like, yeah. you're spirited right now, so uh, you have an opportunity to ask a question, the universe. Uh, do you have any questions? Is Ian ever going to shut up? <laughs> the answer is no. The answer is decidedly no. Uh, no, let's ask a question. Sure. Let's ask a question that's applicable to the both of us. Um, will... Oh, shit, man. It's a big moment in front of 2,000 people. Will Brothers Bond have great success in connection with people in Belgium? Well, I think it's a better way to ask it, like, what do you have to do to achieve a great success? There you go. What does Paul need to do <laughs> in order to have Brothers Bond have great success in Belgium? Well, the card is magician. It means that you have to be a little tricky and smart about this. And you have to manipulate other people a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to trick you. I'm As you're doing right now. Obviously. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I love Tara. I think it's cool. I don't, you know, I think it's awesome. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank for, you. Thank you. Thank and unfortunately, you. this will be our last question. Good move. Make it come. Kind of fortune teller. Paul and I just spent a lot of time in Barcelona. Have you ever been to Barcelona? It's one of the most amazing cities in the world. Remember the, the tarot reader, the fortune teller at that speakeasy? Oh yeah. By, by our hotel. And we would go there on Wednesday nights. And
And this freaking woman told me so much about my past that she knew. Not simply like find a Google. And so much about my future that ended up coming true that there's not a single person that goes to Barcelona. I'm, I'm not like, you have to go see this woman. Um, and so it's interesting, man. The universe, like, in, you know, there's a lot of energy in here. So I believe in that stuff. It's, it's pretty, pretty wow. Hi. Up to you. Hi guys. Hello. I'm really happy you finally sending your GoPro invention. So you. delicious. Yeah. Perfect. I want to taste that. So my question is, do you know to cook? Ian's a great cook. I know how to cook. Ian made me some food a couple of times. And it's always delicious. Thanks, bro. He's, he's a lot better than me. He's finally, I've never heard you compliment me in any way, shape, or That's not true, I always say you're a great blender. Oh, hey, there you go. Like a smoothie blender? Oh, whiskey blender. Yeah, coffee yeah. smoothies too, I'm sure. Hey, where are you from? France. I'm from Belgium. I mean, Belgium. Nice, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so no way. way. No, we cook a lot. Actually, you know what, we've shared a great many, probably a thousand meals together. And we've had a couple of amazing ones. And one time, when we were shooting the first uh, campaign for Brothers Bond, we were at my dear brother's ranch uh, up in, in uh, California. And it was December, it was, it was COVID at this day. And I cooked dinner, it was me, you, and, and, and uh, Dean. There was only three of us. It was me, Paul, and the photographer. No lighting, no makeup, no hair, no nothing. It was COVID. Everyone thought we would kill each other. And so I remember cooking dinner and we were like, and I gave Paul. <laughs> so I gave Paul some of our oldest bourbon. And it was like this seven year old amazing whiskey. This is about three, almost four years ago now. And I gave Paul this whiskey. And I, I blended it and I, I, I diluted it in front of us. We drank a bunch of it, too much of it. And when you see that first, first images of us for Brothers Bond, you'll never know that A, we were freezing our asses off. It was 30 degrees. And we were so freaking hungover. That's, that is true. It was so hungover. We had a good meal. But we had a great meal. And I cooked it. And I was like, Brothers, you guys stay here. I'm just going to cook. He put truffle oil on the salad. It was really good stuff. I was not fucking around. So I like to go nuts and cook. Um, and it, by the way, if you don't cook, just watch YouTube's. Get like creative. Just start like being fearless and playing with flavors, and it will elevate your life in a way that you can't imagine. Thank you very much. Thank you, lovely. Thank you, lovely. Thanks for coming to see us. We love you back, my friend. We love you too. That's it for us, for you. Thank you very much for Belgium! Thank you, guys. I cannot wait for this to be here everywhere, but listen, thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here with us, hanging with us, listening to us, trying Brothers Bond, trying Endorser Company, watching our show, being a part of our lives, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts and we love you. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you.